I'm going to say this one time and one time only. For those of you who do not know me, it is not a good idea to piss me off. And I damn near just about got in a fucking fight with this black guy at the service station. I'm telling you what, I am just about to my fucking breaking point with the, some of these middle-aged and 20 to 30-something black people around this goddamn town acting like I'm some kind of white girl that they can just talk shit about and talk shit to. Y'all need to keep your fucking drama to yourself and leave me out of it. I'm telling you what, this motherfucker at the store wanted to start running his mouth about some flippant bullshit that he knew nothing about. First words that flew out of my mouth is, why would you say such ignorant shit? He didn't have a response. He just walked off. Of course not, because he knew he was about to get his fucking ass beat. I'm going to tell you what. I am half... Listen up. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. I am not white. I am half Blackfoot, American Indian, and half Dutch. For those of you motherfucking mutts out there that want to call yourselves white because you are mixed with 15 different races, that is not me. It takes a lot to piss me off. A lot. But this motherfucker up at the service station just about got his ass beaten. And had he not left when he did, I would be in jail right now. Anyway, before I rant and rave anymore, I will say that the 40 and older black people in my neighborhood are great. They all act like they have some fucking sense. I will also say that the teenagers and the younger kids around town are fucking great. I love them. I have no issues with them whatsoever. Today, by the way, is July 9th. I have not done a video in probably a week, a week and a half. You can look back and find out. I'm not going to sit here. I'm in a fucking horrible mood. I have been in a horrible mood for a week now. And don't, if, don't even say one word about PMS because that shit's just going to piss me off further. I'm telling you what, it is, I have been ready to pull my fucking hair out of goddamn top of my head here lately. I have had some fucking loser roommate who wants to store his shit in my house for a goddamn month and not pay a dime towards rent. He gave me $25. Disappeared. Then shows up like he can just walk in the fucking house and get his things. Piss me off. Honestly, I didn't do anything about it or say anything about it. I was like, just get your things and leave. Because I knew that I would end up fighting this motherfucker too. Then the other roommate spontaneously decides he wants to move his daughter in here. And then, a goddamn day later, decides that he's not going to be here for the month of July or even remain here at all that he's going to move off to fucking Washington, D.C. So I'm getting stuck with a goddamn house payment that I can barely even make simply because of these fucking incompetence. And I'm going to tell you what I did to solve this problem. I drew up a lease. And from now motherfucking on, these people will be signing a lease of no less than three months. They will be paying a deposit I am sick of these motherfuckers coming and going like there's nobody else in the world but them. So to elaborate, other stressful events in my life, fucking roommate moved was supposed to leave a washing machine, a lawnmower, a dining room table, among other things. Took every goddamn bit of it. So now I am stuck having to buy all this shit that I sold previously because he insisted he was going to leave this shit here. So I sold all my stuff because his was brand new and all my shit was ancient. Now I'm left with fucking nothing. So I'm sure you can imagine how goddamn mad I am about that. Okay. Another issue that I've had here lately is I recently got a puppy. A female puppy. 
That is the. I love my puppy to death. But it is a goddamn nightmare trying to train her. If I pick her up and put her outside when she starts sniffing around the floor, she does perfectly okay. She refuses to fucking tell me when she needs to go outside. She is, however, only five weeks old, so I'm not disciplining her tremendously because, oh my God, I look so fat on here. Sorry, that's the camera. I'm not really that fat. I promise. Anyway. Puppy. Then on top of the puppy. I go walking to the service station yesterday and my male cat is following me. You've all seen him on my other videos. He's following me and I suddenly start hearing this screaming. I thought, oh my God, what the fuck's he gotten into? Barbed wire or some fucking wild animals attacked him or somebody shot him with a BB gun. These fucking people around here are goddamn crazy. It's hard telling what could have happened. Anyhow, I walked back to the house. Like, I was only like a half a block away. So I walked back to my house and I hear, I still hear this screaming, but I see Anubis, my male cat, like walking through the yard. He's like, what the fuck's going on? What's all this kitty screaming? So I go to my neighbor's car and I, I'm like looking all over for this cat. Apparently it's a feral kitten. And I'm telling you what, this kitten is not more than two or three weeks old. And she, honestly, I, I, can't, I walked to the store because I couldn't get her off the top of this tire. I come back and my neighbor's digging in her car in the hood of her car trying to get this cat out. And I said, well, if you, you're going to have to feed her with a baby bottle because she's too young to you not know, to be weaned. I, I found out later that's not true. And I'll tell you that in just a second. But I said, well, if you can't take care of her, just bring her over here and I'll take care of her. Well, I've been reading online about how to take care of kittens. When I was raised on the farm, we had to take care of all kinds of baby animals. I knew how to take care of a kitten, but I wanted to see up-to-date shit. That shit was, that was fucking 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when we were, had these baby rabbits and moles and mice and shit that the cats would drag up, or baby kittens and all kinds of shit. Anyway, we had to learn how to do that on the farm. So it wasn't like a mystery to me. I just wanted to be updated on it. Anyhow, it's like, well, you got to feed this kitten every three hours with a baby bottle, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't know if I've got the fucking patience for this shit at all. And plus, you have to massage their head between their eyes to get them to eat, and then massage their belly when they're that young to get them to use the bathroom. So I do that, you know, for most of yesterday. And then you know, I put her down on the floor because she's like completely independent apparently. And I put like food out for the dog and this cat like darts right fucking over there to the food. And starts eating it. It's like canned dog food. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to waste my time trying to feed this cat with a syringe or a bottle when uh, she's obviously going to do it herself, you know. She's not so bad with the potty part as the dog is, but still. I learned by studying online that you have to give these cats all kinds of attention. By the way, look up my new kicks. How cool are they? They're bright orange. See them? I love them. Anyway, I wanted pink, but they didn't have pink in my size, which is like a nine and a half. Anyway, I love my new kicks. I have, let me tell y'all what. My friends think I'm just fucking crazy sometimes because I threw my pair of it. I don't like Nikes, but these appeal to me because of the colors. I had a pair of Adidas. One pair of tennis shoes, actually two pair, sorry, about two pair at the same time, a green pair and a white pair. I had those shoes, well, actually my ex took the green pair, Why? they kind of look like guys' shoes anyhow, so it didn't really fucking matter. 
that the blue pair I just threw away two days ago. And I'm telling you what, I have had those shoes since the year 1999. Add that up in your head. I rarely ever buy shoes. I'm not one of these. I rarely ever buy clothes. My sister gives me a lot of clothes. I'm cheap as fuck when it comes to clothes. I don't care. As long as I look decent, I don't give a shit what the clothing is. I'm not one of these designer chicks. I'm not high maintenance like that. It may seem like I am, but I'm not. I really don't care. But 20 years, what is that? 15 years worth of shoes. Never bought another pair of shoes, except like work shoes that had to be skid resistant and ice resistant and all that shit. So here's a couple of life lessons for you guys and girls, whoever's watching these videos, which apparently my fan base is like quadruple. It's insane how many people like my videos. It's absolutely insane. And I'm not going to complain at the very least because if it entertains you, great. A few life lessons that I've learned as of late, only to add to my stress. One is, the other day I kicked my fucking beer over in the middle of the goddamn floor, which I cannot express to you how mad I was about that shit. I didn't even get to enjoy it. That for some reason I had a, spas a spasm of some kind and just fucking kicked my beer over. Pissed me off. I'll tell you another thing. Never, ever, 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 never leave anything of yours in your mother's car. My mother lives 20 minutes from me, and it took me a fucking week to get some groceries that I had left in her car returned to me. Everything's going to be on your parents' time. So, for, just don't forget shit in their vehicle, or at their house, or anything like that. Unless you are capable of going to get it yourself. Which I'm not, because I don't drive. And I'm certainly not walking for two days trying to get to my mother's house. Another life lesson. I am tired of people lying all the fucking time. I don't know what the hell is wrong with people these days. Uh-oh, my sister's here. I'm going to have to stop the video here soon. I'm going to tell you what. Shit never gets better when you want to lie all the fucking time. You want your life to change? You want shit to get better? Then stop fucking lying and be real all the time. All the time, no matter how hard it is.